Welcome to Amazon's TV, I'm Pete. I'm Rabia. And we're looking at some small, mighty little things here. Some Jeebus. little packages of tonal uh, beastery. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, no. Tone from that, I mean, at a telecaster and just... I mean, so I'm plugged into the cab behind here. Mm -hmm. um, this, you're playing out of this cab here. I am. Hughes and Kettner. Hughes and Kettner, spirit of uh, series. <laughs> yeah. I would say, you know. Mr. Hughes and Mr. Kettner. Yeah. And the spirit of, we've got three little ones here, tiny little things, uh, fits in your backpack, mm -hmm. on your pedal board, mm -hmm. whatever. Spirit of metal, spirit of rock, spirit of vintage. Good things come in small packages, Pete. I uh, know, that's what my wife says. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the Black Spirit series that came out maybe a couple of years ago now, they yeah. have like this nano tube technology and they mm -hmm. were able to pack it into a small amp head, like a Grandmeister sized thing, wherever that is, yeah, and then a little floorboard yeah. that was 200 watts. Yeah. Really good, programmable, all the rest of it. So I think what they wanted to do is go, we want to bring that technology into something super affordable which is what this is. And it's much, much smaller. These are sub I mean, 200 quid, right? Yeah, 185 quid each of these, and there's three in the series, so these are the three here. But, uh, I mean... At four ohms, 50, 50 watts. watts. Yeah. And, and we can confirm that it is very loud. <laughs> it's very, very loud. It really loud. goes loud. Yeah. I've seen a lot of these things come up. We did a video on the orange, the little orange pedal. Mm -hmm. There's been a few of those On the micro terror yeah, and stuff the like that. Stuff yeah, the micro stuff and the little... Um, and it's, it's, they just... For some, I don't know what it is. I mean, this is all analog, but there's just, it's, 
it's weird that it can mm. sound like a and drive the 212. That you know? amount of si- yeah, that size for that amount of t- like girth in the sound. Yeah. yeah, I mean you can easily use that as, at a gig. I would say you yeah. know, it could drive a 412. So I was thing. saying earlier, if you play in an out-and-out metal band that doesn't have any clean sections, yeah. then you could get away. You could easily gig with this with the drummer. It's so loud. <laughs> it's deafening. But they're super simple. Yeah. There's a few nice features. But mainly, you've got a master, then you've got something called sagging, which I am assuming affects the response, the sort of compression mm-hmm. of the amplifier. Yeah. Then you've got tone, which is more of a sort of ISF-inspired style control from like the Black State range. So it, you know, it, it adds more than just tone. You yeah. Know? You feel the mids and the, all that stuff. And then gain. And then there's three series. There's yeah. three in the series. And on the front, you've got input mm-hmm. and phone output. On the back, you have got, see if I can turn that yeah, around. Turn that around. Uh, speaker you've got out. Line out, um, and you've got speaker out, and then you've got the power aux and in. an aux in. So you could play along to your favorite tracks, and also one of the things I do like about the Hughes and Kettner stuff is they just have one speaker in, and inside the amplifier it just works out if it's 4, 8, 16. Yeah, yeah they, they've always got the little red box as well, because it's kind of this, the technology coming out of here is what is in the red box. So it has like an emulated a, line out. Em, yeah, an emulated line out on that, so you can plug that into whatever you want. Um, I think we just hear some tones for beer. Why don't we start? What do you start with? Uh, shall I start with the vintage or? Yeah, you go for it, man. Okay, yeah. so we'll just get we'll get heavier as we go. Yeah. So I'm plugged into a cabinet behind me with some different speakers because I thought uh, that it's like a vintage. This is a V30 in here. Mm-hmm. That one has got some uh, creambacks in it. Okay. So it's just a little bit different, so you can hear the difference in the tones. Sounds yeah. good. Uh, because people that buy these might just buy it as a second amp or something, and yeah. they might not have a Hughes and Kenton amp. I mean, you don't need. That to, you know, it's just to demonstrate it. Tell us about the guitar you're playing. Uh, the guitar is a Brit Daniel uh, Telecaster. Uh, that's it. Made okay. in the USA. Uh, that's it. Um, so let's go. That's the tone there. So you've got the master, which is nice. And then that's already louder than we would normally have the around the, the same volume. Yeah, in. absolutely. It's down here. So here we go. Get some, get some clean tone. So there's no reverb in this, so you no. can hear. So it's it, you know, and there's no effects loop. So what if you want to reverb, uh, you can stick it in the front. I would expect. Either scooped or yeah, and then you got the sagging. It feels like really it's good. more compressed that yeah. way, doesn't it? Yeah. It sounds really good. Um, but if then, you start cranking the gain, it'll so get loud. So now I'm going to crank loud. the gain. Halfway. On the back that sounds good. That sounds good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, man. Three quarters of the way. I enjoy That's playing really that. Good, yeah. I really enjoy playing that. I think it sounds really good. Let's go gain full up <laughs> just to see what happens. Yeah. Man, it sounds yeah. good, doesn't it? And then um, let's see what it does with a, a pedal because these are affordable 185 quid. I've got a derpel on the floor and that's it. So slightly crunch and there's a derpel. That is really not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, I don't have a lot of experience in 
tiny little amplifiers. <laughs> sounds good. I think it sounds but really good, man. These are some of the best I've probably heard. I've been, I've heard the jam in a jar thing into a 412, which is really impressive. Yeah. And like I had a micro terror a while back and stuff, but I've never. Oh, but the jam in a jar is completely. Is, that's a completely different thing. Yeah. You know, that's just. But it's a tiny. Little, a gimmick. Yeah. A gimmick. Yeah. But this is. I'm really quite impressed. <laughs> I'm really blown away with that sound. To be honest, really. <laughs> It's got and like it a mix. Feels. It feels a bit voxy in its cleaner sounds. Yeah. But then it gets more martially as you turn it up. The, the feel of it is great. It feels yeah, man. I mean, that's a that's like a <laughs> you know thin line. He doesn't yeah. want to go. But I don't think I need to say anything else. 185 quid, links below for that. Check it out. Wow. Uh, and I was in the victory cabin there just to, to, to have a different speaker. Yeah, man. Sex Seanus. Uh, let's go on to you and do some rock for us, man. So I'm in the spirit of rock. I've got the master low and the gain low uh, to try and show you what the kind of cleaner tones would be like, I guess. <laughs> Bit of a tube scream on the floor. Anyway, so really we just need to turn the gain up, don't we? Yes. So. It's great. <laughs> and that's gain under halfway. Yeah. So then. I'm not sure John Mayer thought that his guitar was going to sound like that when he. Yeah, <laughs> fair like, play. Like, uh, yeah. That, and the same on, like, I had the master on, like, nine. Yeah, that's it's loud. Insane. And that this is loud enough. I mean, there's. Oh, we've got a enough. decibel meter, haven't we? So yeah, this we is do. this is where we're at currently. You can't really because that the cabinet is here. So if I, for instance, play now, you see that it's louder. It's, it's a good indication that's a hundred, that it's loud. Yeah, that's hundred, but that my cab is closer to the to the dB meter. But it is loud. It's so, loud. Um. So. I may as well, I mean, tone is self-explanatory, but with more gain, we should check out the sagging. Sagging! <laughs> so, put the gain here. Or... Yeah, it's great. It feels that really good, good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it I, feels good, doesn't it? It's not, but it is all analog, so the circuitry inside that is analog. Right. Okay. So that's well, that's what it says in the blurb, isn't it? So yeah, um, there's more than enough gain on tap there. I mean, like it's funny because that for me is probably the max amount of gain I would sort of use with my kind of guitar sounds. So but this, now <laughs> we go out to the spirit of metal. And you know, it's nice that they decided that red knobs were appropriately metal. And rock black, and then sort of vintage. Uh, I mean, you albeit, hold on to that while I, albeit slightly clashing with the neon blue, personally, you know. If, well, I, was, if I was there, going on blue. a visual, if I was going on a visual vibe, I'd probably be checking out. I've got the little the handles rock. on the side as well. Look at that. It's funny. Yeah, really with the little handles, yeah. like the little Grandmeister vibes. Okay. Yes. So, shall I get a more appropriate guitar? I think you should. I think you should. Okay. Right. Let's try the PRS main. Yeah, this is about the most appropriate guitar I could find in close proximity. So really, we should start with the gain at halfway, tone at halfway, sagging at halfway, but the master volume has to stay down. Let's have it. All right.
<laughs> That's the horse. <laughs> it sounds good. Wow, well, it's it's definitely metal. Definitely that scooped vibe, and that's with. What I'm gathering from these two is if the sagging's at halfway, that's the most sort of open sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like an open sag. Heavy. Wow, that is good, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we are running into a 2x12 cab. What you're hearing, of course, is the mic. mic yeah, imagine if you're running anyway. a 412, though. Bloody hell. It's I loud. think I want Ola to say to try this and see if it chucks, because I'm sure it does. Well, we've just seen it. It's quite, does. yeah, it's, it's good for that, that style, like yeah. a thrashier kind of thing. Well, there you, there you um, go, man. I really like these. I think they're great. 185 quid for a little thing that you can have in your, you know, I and mean, you take it with you in, if you're gigging. When you go gigging again soon, I, I believe it's allowed from today, isn't it? If you had an ABY or an AB, or like you could buy all three, have change from 600 quid and be able to run three different channels. Like, I mean, not that you would do that, but if you wanted to, you could. There you go. That's it. I think they're great. Really well done. I mean, I was looking forward to trying them out and now we have. So uh, that's the spirit of metal, the spirit of rock, spirit of vintage, the spirit of Rebeer. Spirit of Spirit of Pete. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for watching. I think that's it, isn't it? I think so. We, I mean, we'll we link done? it all in the description box. And yeah. uh, Just which hit... is your favourite? Yeah, which is your favourite? That's a good one. See which is your favourite. I think for me that one definitely. Yeah, I think this one um, sits nicely for me. Yeah, a bit more yeah, gain because it's got less. You can, but then I, I can take or leave the metal. It's fun, but for me, I think yeah. with that, I'm gonna get most of the kind of tones I'd like to get from it. It's ace. It's ace. Please yeah. like and subscribe uh to the channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell if you feel like you want to know when we put videos live if not then hey give it a thumbs up or thumbs down it doesn't matter no it doesn't you know write a little comment you know do you like what we do thank you whatever well thanks for having me pete <laughs> well thank you for being here Rabia. and we will uh, we'll see you all very soon <laughs>